A warm summer's evening and I arrive at Rocky Bay, full of hope for some great compositions and some stunning light. The first challenge that quickly became apparent was, there was no rocks. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I've gone to a place that I haven't been to actually in a while called Rocky Bay. And I've come here for sunset. And as I was arriving, the skies are clear in the west, which is quite unusual. And we've had a bout of clear spider, clear weather now for probably around maybe the last 12 days, which is unknown for Ireland, but it's about to break tomorrow. So I said I'd come for sunset because the west is going to be clear. And as you can see just behind me here, there's a nice bit of light that's hitting the headland just here because the sun has nothing to block it in the uh, west. And out as well now to the south, which is where I'm going to be looking, there is a bank of cloud. So hopefully that will catch the light then as the evening will go on. Now I'm here as well for high tide. And as you can see here, the waves are coming in and just lapping in below me here. So I'm probably going to wait for a short while before I head out into the surf area there because it's not reached full tide just yet um, and I just don't want to get wet for obvious reasons but I'm going to take a first shot anyway here I think would be a nice one just looking back out with this headland that's there it might take a couple of different exposure types it might take a one second it might even go up as far as a 10 second and smooth out the water but yeah I'll take a couple of shots in here to get warmed up and hopefully now like I said those clouds that are in the distance here will catch and I'll get some nice conditions for sunset. What I'm walking on here is normally a collection of some great rock pools and some fantastic textured rocks, which can always deliver a different shot. Today was going to be no different, albeit without the rocks. Instead I stood there watching the waves as they came ashore and hit this newly formed sandbank and then gently finishing the long journey at my feet below. This is one of the great things about this location. It really is like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get. Today I also had the advantage of what seemed like the only swell along the coast and after meeting a surfer he confirmed that this was the case. Indeed, everywhere else was flat cam. So it was time to embrace it and see what I could capture on this funny evening at the new named Rockless Beach. So as you can see here now with the water as it's coming in around me, I'm pretty close now to high tide and as it's coming up over this bit of a ridge I'm a bit protected from the incoming waves but every so often, like right now, a wave will break above that. So what I've done is I've gone for a one second exposure to allow me to be able to capture some of the movement in this water as it comes up over the top of this ridge and I moved further into the beach because the first shot that I got from here, a bit far back didn't really like the foreground and even here as it is there's not much of a foreground albeit for the water and that's what I'm doing is I'm composing the shot and waiting for a wave just like this one now to come in and just fill the frame at the base here and give me some nice texture within the shot. My settings at the moment actually I'm just using my polarizer and I'm at uh, f7.1 and I'm at one second exposure so just a matter of waiting now to catch the right type of wave anyway as it comes in over here. Headland still has a nice bit of a ambient glow on it as well which is nice and I can see that those clouds in the distance as well are starting to 
catch some of the colour. So, yeah, fingers crossed it goes well, but even as it is right now with these waves that are coming through here, you know, there's some powerful ones, which is nice, and I'm getting some nice movement when it does actually break this ridge. So I'm a bit protected, like I said, thankfully, because the water is coming in and coming around me. Now, something else I have noticed too is because the sand is the way it is right now, I'm able to get a lovely sheen off the sand too. So I might play around with that and see if I can get some sort of reflection or something like that anyway. But for now anyway, while I have this and I have this movement, I'll wait around and grab the shot. I'll give you a look at it next and then we'll move along and we'll find the next composition. As you can probably see now behind me here, there's some beautiful flat reflections that are there on the sand. Now what I have to be conscious of is, because this is a, a mound, the water is coming in and coming up over it. So I had to kind of retreat back a small bit because we are now just at uh, high tide. So I think there's potential there that it could come in a bit further, but it's given me some really, really nice opportunities here, not only for reflections, but also for some very, very minimalist type of shots, some kind of pastel kind of seascapes as such, really. And as I'm waiting for these waves to come in, they're completely clearing the sand each time. And then I wait, and I, when the water center settles, then it becomes the reflection. And then another wave comes in, and the whole process starts all over again. Now, the clouds that I had said that are going to be on the uh, southern horizon, are on the southern horizon, so hopefully they'll catch the light when it gets closer to sunset. But for now anyway, I'm just going to play around anyway here, see which way the tide will go, because I may end up having to, you know, stay where I am if the tide doesn't stop where it is, because as you can see, when they come in like this here, and this is funnel of water between now me and the main beach, uh, I don't want to get trapped. But at the same point, I am wearing my wellies, so I am all right if I do get wet anyway. But yeah, I've taken a couple of kind of longer exposures there, some pastel shots, uh, even when the clouds are getting a small bit of color right now, you won't be able to see them actually on that camera because it'll be overexposed, but still, nonetheless, I still think some nice shots. So I'll show you these now, and then we'll see what else happens. So I do think now that the tide has reached its peak and what it has done for me is that it's giving me the odd wave that comes in and then soaks the sand as you see here and gives a lovely reflection. But on top of that as well, there's a running stream of water here that's running below me and that then also is allowing to create kind of little ridges at the very edge of the sand and they're going to be gone now so there's going to be a whole new set of them after the last wave that came through but it's allowing me to be able to have a couple of different types of shots i've gone for some long exposures i've gone for some quicker exposures to be able to get the reflection of the clouds that are there they haven't caught the light yet but i do think that the sun now is not far from setting so i should be in the golden hour as such really for the best light but yeah i'm going to see what i can get anyway here i'll show you the shots that i've gotten in the meantime any from this 
with these lovely ridges that are coming along here based on this water as it's flowing through. Powerful waves continued to break right in front of me, and I would normally be braced for an imminent impact. However, watch as this wave just manages to break the newly formed sandbank and gently trickle over and along the surface to re reveal the sky above in its reflections. I played around with the ebb and flow of the water here, but I needed to be fast as it would be gone back into the sand almost as quick. Well, in the end, that didn't amount to much. There's obviously something on the far west, possibly from the wildfires that are in uh, Canada. It's a big haze. It stopped all the color actually reaching where I wanted it to be. But nonetheless, I still think I got some nice kind of pastel-y type of shots. Anyway, I'm going to finish up this episode. Thank you very much, as always, for watching. Hope you enjoy coming along on the adventure. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And if you want and watch another episode, you can watch this one here and hit that subscribe button there. And until the next time, schlong gefolgt.